Hello YouTube, this is Kentucky Joe, reaching out with another settlement here. This is a Sanctuary Minuteman. I lost my previous one due to save corruption. And I'm having to voice this over after the fact because the original voice over didn't record. So I'm just recording it post play. So I'll try my best to narrate. It's a little easier to narrate when you're playing the game as you're doing it. But we're going to... Give this a good old go. That's just me clearing the thing. Two uh, shotgun turrets there. This is a heavily modified play. This is the gateway entrance way. It's got a spotlight and uh, that should be Radio Boston or that Boston Radio mod. You find it on the Nexus. Just search Boston Radio. I can't remember the exact name of it. Hopefully it ain't copyrighted and get this thing took down, but <laughs> we're gonna. Just take a chance there. This is the same entrance I layout I used in my original. I, I like that walkway going over. But this first building is kind of your welcome center. And yes, not all of the buildings are going to be fully decorated because it was starting to get frame issues and I wanted to record this. These three uh, things right there are all kind of linked. So the guy can patrol between all three. That's a mod. I can't remember which one it comes in. Maybe CVC. This is a little storage room in the back of the welcome center for people to get their Minutemen gear if they join the Minutemen. If you want a mod li list, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm not going to be including one in the comments section or the description. But if you want one, let me know and I'll make one up. Uh, these little interview rooms up top, they're all identical. Little waiting room up top. That dog right there is a guard dog. He's part of one of the mods. Outdoor deck, power center over there. We have a walkway that goes across. I always like this little thing, you look down the road. I didn't, but it goes across to the library. There are some stutters, that's why I stopped building when I did so that I could upload, record this without too many issues. And that's me figuring out that you could click that and didn't know what it was doing. It's a little sparse up here, but... And there we go down to the general store that's on the first floor. None of this stuff is actually interactable. There's me getting hung on the sign thing there. I couldn't get by it. But uh, the NPC is interactable. I mean, it's one. It's your normal uh, barter NPC in the game. Except it's attached to the counter through, I think, CBC again. Sure, great. Um, then we'll head on out. I put radios around the whole settlement. That's a uh, notice board there to try to make it a little livable. Homemaker grass, you have to use uh, a position or mod to put it down. Uh, this is a uh, dining hall for the entire settlement. They'd all come here and eat. Not that they actually do in the game, but I try to build this as if it's a real settlement. This was built with a uh, TGM. Little kitchen. There are some porta potties scattered about. Got a strange message from I kind of got hung up on this guy trying to give a quest here. Gray Garden. I couldn't figure out exactly what it wanted, but so I was kind of lingering on him to well wait for it, it to pop so I could move on. Here we go, come upon a uh, clutter, outdoor clutter. It comes with um, one of the main mods that I use to build most of this stuff. This is a shoot <clears throat> shooting range, which is part of a creation club stuff, I believe. And, I mean, the wall, the door is kind of janky. I forget which mod that comes. Might be Homemaker as well. 
This is a courthouse uh, built in the game. Need something? Nope. We're going in here. Okay, and there's your jury pool. Pit pool. You got your defense and prosecution areas and your people watching the trial and judge and stenographer or whoever's up there. Got stuck on the chair, couldn't get past it. So I decided to move on. I tried, most of the mods you see are all nav meshed, so. I ran into some issues, the me this medical point by the way, doctor's office. A uh, little waiting room, and I tried to mod it off from most actual doctor's offices. There is no, I forgot the light in the back of the area back in here. You'll see it has dark straight through. This is me realizing that it's all connected again. Sometimes I forget what I build myself. But you got your two uh, patient rooms and they're both mostly identical. And then through here you got a surgery room for them to do surgery. But you're still using the same assets I think. We'll head on out. Well, that's your exit, like if you're going to Sanctuary. I always like to gate that, put a gate there and a gate in the, the bridge. That's the two gates I like to have on the settlement. Elementary school. You have to use a have a mod to have children in I the game, call once. Was which was away. kind of weird to me. But since Skyrim had them, and we'll move on to maybe the sheriff. Yeah, sheriff's office slash jailhouse. That's his office and a little waiting room there. And we'll go to the back here, cell block. That I couldn't move it, so I had to close it in. I probably should have shrunk that sign a little bit. These cells, I think, are from Homemaker as well. There's a lot of good stuff in that mod. Majority of the mods I have on here are from the Nexus. So, warehouse. I kind of hit the height limit up there, so I couldn't make it kind of pointed. There is a mod to get rid of that, but I didn't. Gate for larger cargo. Me forgetting that you couldn't open this from the outside. The switch is on the inside. I could double switch it, but... Uh, this is Warehouse Clutter. I honestly can't remember what mod that's from, but it is mod, I do believe. And this ladder itself is mod, all on its own, I believe. And they work pretty good. As you can see. I mean, with a jetpack, you don't really need it, but it's cool to have. All this clutter, none of the ammo and stuff you see is actually touchable or usable. It's simply decorative. Here is your standard greenhouse. It's just using most mods that are building mods have some form of greenhouse that most likely uses those parts. That's me looking at trying to figure out what's going on with the pathing of the NPCs. Pathing's never right. That's just the circles around. I dropped down to see if that tree was blocking them, but it wasn't. Secondary gate leads into the uh, residential district. Outhouse. These are all homes. Most of these are prefabs here. From 
CVC maybe. It's one of the mods I have in here. That makes it a little easier to mass place homes. When you, I, if you notice, I stuck with this wooden thing. Oh, this is a merchant area in the center there. I don't actually have anybody assigned to him because I didn't have enough NPCs, but. Most of these small, all these little places are prefabs already built. You just keep it a place and put doors on them. Well, one of the ones that support doors. Put you some beds in there. This, now this house I built. <laughs> Double balconied. There's no basement. This was meant to be my player house that I'd. TV's working because of videos of the Wasteland mod. I call them and ask for Dr. Pierce. He'll be happy. Mm, we're starting to get to the point to where I stop putting stuff in here. Because I want, like I said, I wanted to record this video before I put the stuff there. Because it'll make it harder to make the video. However, I am still putting this stuff there. It should be playable without trying to strain it by recording too. So I'll be filling all this stuff up myself. But doing the video needed to come first. Has me for remembering you couldn't make the gap there. But I did put a little gate on this end so I could jetpack down anytime I wanted to. And there's me being a little OCD about closing doors behind me. That leads to where we'll be going here in just a second also. Except we'll be going a different way. Uh, vertibird landing. You can fly. It's a flyable vertibird mod. Created the elevator and realized it was coming down on me. Don't know if it would kill me or not, but I wanted to move out of the way. A little stutter there. Use it to get around his minute minute paint job on the vertibird. That's me send it, trying to send it back down. That way I don't do that again. This is a wrap around to uh, get down without using the elevator. Since the NPCs don't like elevators. And I believe we'll be heading to the dock area now. Which is an idea I actually got from another video that I saw on YouTube myself. I simply did my own variant. That building you're looking at right there is a complete prefab I've already made. It don't actually have anything in it either. Neither of the dock buildings do. So if you actually, I don't have a clue what to put in them. So if you got any ideas, feel free to toss them in the comments. This one I built. I can still, because I didn't know what to put in it. I didn't section no walls out or anything. They're both just two big empty buildings. To make it look like a dock. Also put the dock. I don't know what I was doing there. Put the dog houses down on the dock too for some reason. Then we want to head down here. This is the actual dock. Each one's got fishing chairs. They're one of the mods gives them. Where you can assign NPCs. To, there you go. CBC. Uh, you can sign uh NPCs to them and they'll generate 0.5 food, I believe. They don't actually fish, they just sit in the chair, but it get, make it look like they're fishing. Got a little boat house down here. However, there's no boat nor enough water really that a boat could be in there. <laughs> I'm trying to play it off as if uh, the river <laughs> or creek is down or something. Uh, I'm going up here, this is a peek at the energy generation. Those are both modded as well. And you got the settlement beacon in there too. All these trees you see is from Homemaker, I do believe. But I believe that's it. I uh, thank everybody for watching.